High Velocity Wrestling is a professional wrestling promotion based in Western North Carolina. HVW's events provide a family atmosphere featuring old school pro wrestling with a modern day flair, giving a little something for everyone. Hey, hey, what is up? Welcome to the HVW Podcast, the official podcast for High Velocity Wrestling. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and we're here to give you the latest news and rumors surrounding HVW, including updates on upcoming events and much more. Remember to follow us on all of our social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. The links are available in the episode's description. What's up, kids? Tom Clark here with you once again. HVW Director of Social Media, back with you. Uh, we're coming at you on a Monday night this time instead of a Tuesday night. We're mixing it up, uh, uh, doing something a little bit different. Gary Benfield, owner, owner and promoter of HVW, uh, has a commitment now that's uh, going to be a, 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 like a longstanding commitment on Tuesday nights. So we're going to be coming to you live on Mondays for the foreseeable future. Uh, we've got bunches to talk about today. I'm flying solo here tonight. Gary is otherwise indisposed. He apologizes. He can't be here. Um, we've got some stuff to share with you in case you've been living under a rock forever. Let me tell you what's going on out there in the world. If you are not aware, kids, we are coming back. HVW is returning on Saturday, June 5, 2021. Back in action, back in business again for the first time in well over a year. February 29th, First Strike 2020 was our last live event. Man, we have missed being in front of you good folks. We've got bunches of stuff to cover tonight. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time on the road to Proving Ground talking about the title matches. We've got five matches booked on the main card. We've got a dark match that's going to take place before the, the main, actual main card. Of those five matches booked on the main card, three of them are championship matches. And one night, the HVW Tag Team Championships, the HVW Championship, and for the first time ever, the HVW Women's Championship will all three be decided on the same card in the same night. Now, that's big, right? But we also have two other matches that we want to talk to you about in greater detail here tonight. Two matches that are just as important because in the three – all right, so – Check this out. Got five matches total, okay? Three of those five matches win and you're in, meaning if you win that match, you're in the 10-man over-the-top battle royal to crown the new HVW champion. That includes the tag team match, the, four, the, uh, the Four Corners tag team match between the New Age Villains, Foundation, the White Claw Outlaws, and Cam Jackson and K.O. Mari, okay? So we could conceivably have a tag team champion become the new HVW champion. Anything can happen, kids. That's kind of what we're uh, talking about here. Down under David. David in Australia, thank you for checking us out, man. Good day to you, sir. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Dylan says, uh, uh, Gauzy, excuse me, is the dark match is also important because it has me. Ladies and gentlemen, Gauzy is one of uh, uh, our rising stars here in HVW. Uh, can't wait to meet this young man. Please check out his stuff. Please check him out. If you haven't followed him on Facebook, please do so. Um, let's talk about these two matches because there are two I really want to get into detail here about uh, tonight. Uh, Jetta, how are you? Thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. So let's talk about these two matches here, kids. Uh, the first match we want to talk about is Mook versus Jake Jacobs. Now, for any of you thinking or wondering about tickets for Proving Ground, we're going to get to that very shortly, so please hold tight, all right? We're going to take the overlay off here so it, uh, the overlay doesn't happen uh, during this. Actually, you know what? It'll be fine. I think. Will it? Will it? I think it will. Will it? We'll find out together. <laughs> for some reason, I'm fuzzy on that. We'll find out. If, if, it, if it's there, then I'll take it down. You'll know what I'm talking about when we get there. Trust me. All right. So let's talk about Mook and Jake Jacobs, okay? All right, so look, Mook is brand new to High Velocity Wrestling, okay? Uh, Proven Graham will be his first time uh, wrestling in the company. Jake Jacobs made his debut last year at First Strike. The superior Jake Jacobs got a huge future ahead of him. Uh, uh, he was trained exceptionally well. He's a very good wrestler. Uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him, kids. Trust me. 
Mook also has a very bright future ahead of of him. He has just not proven himself yet in HVW. Now, when we first started the road to Proving Ground, the first person out the gate with a promo was Mook, okay? And Mook had something to say. Actually, I think maybe Chris Fix may have been the first one. Maybe Mook was second. Whoever was first, my apologies. So, um, Mook uh, came out swinging, folks. He came out absolutely swinging. He's ready to face Jake Jacobs. We're going to play these promos here, give you a chance to check these out. And we hope you enjoy these. Uh, as Gary and I say on the podcast more than one time now, neither one of us, he knows a lot more about Mook than I do. Okay, if I'm being honest, I can't wait to see this man in action. Um, but Mook, as I said before, came out swinging. You're going to want to hear what he has to say. So if you've not checked out these promos yet, now's your chance. Here is the promo from Mook talking about his showdown with Jake Jacobs on Saturday, June 5 at Proving Ground. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mook. Saturday, June 5th, Mook the BTSG makes his high-velocity wrestling debut. And trust, it's an event you don't want to miss. So let me put the word out for my opponent, Jake Jacobs. You see, I'm in the business of making heads roll. And business is booming. So trust when I tell you, boy, you're not ready for what you got coming towards you. I watched the videos. You're all right. But superior, you are not. So get ready, my guy. Because it ain't personal. It's just business. All right, so uh, that that's good stuff, right? Um, uh, Mook says it's not personal. Um, if if you're sitting where I'm sitting, maybe it's personal. You know what I mean? It's, it sure feels like he's trying to make it that way. Uh, look, at the end of the day, no matter what company you're talking about, the, the primary championship is the richest prize. Okay, it's lingo that we've used for years in the business, right? But the, it's the richest prize. It's like the... It's the it's the upper echelon. It's the top tier. The guy with the title is the most important guy in the entire company. Okay, bar none. And you can get political. You can say, well, this guy's a veteran. This guy, it doesn't make a difference. the The most important guy in the company is the champion. The champion. Okay, I'm bumping the mic. My my apologies. Um, the champion is the number one, the top dog. Okay, and because of that, champ gets paid better. He gets, you know, he gets more discretion when it comes to his matches. Uh, uh, the promoter tends to listen to him a little bit more than he would listen to a guy that just got there. Okay. There are perks of being a champion. All right. And especially being the champion. So when it comes to the HVW championship, you can believe one thing for sure. Okay. A guy like Mook, who's got something to prove. He wants to come in and make a statement. Yeah, he's going to make it personal because the goal here is to throw Jake Jacobs off his game. Now, having said all that, in the short time I've known Jake, I've had Jake on the podcast here, I don't think I've ever known Jake Jacobs to be rattled by anyone. He's always cool. Uh, cool is the other side of the pillow, as they say. And uh, and and he's an oak, okay? You can't really can't really shake him, all right? When you see this promo, it, it feels as though maybe Mook has shook him up just the least a little bit. Now, if that's not the case, uh, so so be it. And it could be that Jake is now trying to get into Mook's head as well. I don't know. If you know anything about pro wrestlers, you will know this for sure. Apart from the fact that they all want to be the champ, okay? Because they do. And if you don't want to, why are you wasting time getting in this business, right? But part two of this is mind games are played all the time. Pretty much from dawn to dusk. That's how it is in the business of professional wrestling, kids. Because the idea is to rattle your opponent, to throw him or her off their game, okay? To shake them to the point that they're going to make a mistake. Because when you get someone mad, okay, and and they come out swinging, there's two trains of thought. The first train of thought is, well, you better be careful because they if they come out swinging too hard, they could catch you not looking and bam, you're, you're pinned and the match is over, right? But the, the underlying belief is that if they come out doing something unexpected and they're not on their game, that means they're feeding into you. 
Okay. And they're playing into what you want and playing into the tempo of the match that you are dictating. And once you dictate the pace, whoever dictates the pace of the match is in control. I think we can all pretty much agree on that. Okay. And that's what Mook is thinking here. Now, is Jake make, messing with him as well? I'll leave that up for you to decide. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jake Jacobs' answer to Mook, Mook's promo on their showdown. At Proving Ground on Saturday, June 5. Check this out. Uh, you want to know exactly why they call me the superior? You want to go on your little video and say you've, uh, quote unquote, watched some of my work and then say it's I? Let me give you a quick uh, backstory. A little over a year ago, I was in your shoes. I was going up to HVW High Velocity Wrestling and I was making my in-ring debut. Only difference, I let my actions in that ring speak for himself. But not you. You would have come in talking, talking, and talking. You have the audacity to say everything you just said and then tell me it's not personal. That's just business. Well, Mook, it's going to seem like the pandemic just started all over again because there is no business. It is personal. On June 5th, you're going to find out exactly why they call me the superior. You're welcome. All right, so I will leave it up to you to decide what you just saw. Um, that That's your call. From my perspective, it seems like Jake is rattled, okay? It seems like he's a little ticked off, all right? Now, uh, again, I've never known him to um, uh, to have a knee-jerk reaction. I've always known him to be uh, careful and methodical and, and choose his words wisely. I don't have any reason to believe that he's changing the way he does business, so that seems to say to me that maybe Mook has gotten into his head just a little bit. Now, um, we don't know how this match is going to play out yet. The only way to find out is to get your tickets for June 5th. We'll talk about that shortly. Hang on to that, okay? Um, so that's the only way to know. Uh, for all we know, Jake is going to come out and get this win in 20 seconds. I don't know. If, if, maybe Mook will. Dude, no one knows what's going to happen here, all right? But it does seem to be there's already some bad blood. We haven't even gotten to June 5th yet, so that's a big deal. Um, again, mind games getting into each other's head. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, look, you would think that maybe that would be the end of it. Typically, we get a promo from one guy and then the other guy or gal or whoever, and then we're we're done. We were, we're not done. Uh, Mook saw what Jake had to say. What's up, Christopher? How are you, my friend? Um, so Mook heard what Jake had to say, and Mook has responded. Now, if you thought there was some some stuff being said by Mook the first time and maybe some ego talk and maybe some overconfidence, perhaps not trying to, you know, uh, suggest anything crazy here. But if you thought that was happening before, wait till you see this. And spoiler alert, kids, there's a wackadoodle twist in here that I'm not sure what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mook's response to Jake Jacobs' promo into going into their match on Saturday, June 5 at HVW Proving Ground. Check this out. <laughs> oh, you look, you say you look, you look crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, Jake. Look, I just saw your reply. And look, man, that was cute. Um, I think it's cool that you've got a good year in HBW and you've managed to make your impact. And, uh, you know, you're giving me a little bit of your history. Uh, so, you know, let me let you know what I think about that. I don't care. See, let me fill you in on something. I don't care about anybody else's history in HBW. Here's the thing. I'm coming to etch my own history. You got one thing right. 
I do have the audacity. And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to prove to you and everyone else that I have the skills to back up that audacity. So mark my words since we're talking about history. June 5th will be a day to remember because it will be day one of the history of Mook the BTSG in HBW. And when I say this, this is a guarantee that the path that I am coming to etch within the face of HBW is going to be deep and destructive. Jake Jacobs, you don't know what you're asking for. There's no more Mr. Nice Guy. I told you, you got a little wackadoodle, didn't I? I warned you. Um, now, I think maybe Jake has flipped the script here, okay? Because if this thing started off as a head game on Mook's part trying to get to Jake, I think Jake may have just flipped it back on him. I don't think Jake's playing head games. I just don't think he is. I think that when Mook looked into this guy's eyes, he saw something that maybe he didn't like, maybe that kind of threw him back a step, pushed him back on his heels. And so Mook decides to answer with that. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see this match. Um, this this match, and we there again, kids, there's five on this card. This card is huge. I'm going to tell you right now, man, um, this match could very well steal the show. And, and we've said that about every match on the card, but it's all true. It's all true. This match could very well steal the show. All right. By the way, if you're watching right now or watching after the fact, if you know someone that's going to be in the area that, that loves pro wrestling, please, by all means, let them know. We've got links up all over the place. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitch, everywhere you want to look for HVW online, you're going to find us. And we've got links to everywhere. It's eventbrite.com for tickets. Okay. The URL, it's a tiny URL. Let's make it very easy for as easy as we can, right? tinyurl.com slash hvwpgtix. There you go. It's HVW Proving Ground Tickets. Be sure to get your tickets. We'll talk more about that as we uh, uh, wind the show down here tonight. But again, if you're not anxious for Mook versus Jake Jacobs, man, there's something wrong with you because I'm telling you right now, this is going to be big. This is going to be a fun match. I got a feeling it's going to be hard hitting. I got a feeling both these young men are going to bring it like never before. So, Listen, don't forget, win and you're in, okay? You win and you're in, all right? So whoever wins this match gets to be in the 10-man over-the-top rope battle royal to crown the new HVW champion, all right? When that match is down to two men, those two men, normal match rules apply, including the over-top rope stipulation. So pinfall submission also counts to win the championship. Will Mook or Jake Jacobs become the next HVW champion? Only one way to find out. Get your tickets, kids. Trust me, they're selling. All right, be sure you get there. Let's move on to another match that we got to talk about here because we don't want to leave these two young men out either. John Matthews versus Elijah Proctor. Now, it just at the mere mention of this guy's name, it's probably going to bring his manager on board at some point. Ivan Righteous, I am Righteous, uh, is, is the manager for the widow's son, Elijah Proctor, and also for the New Age Villains, okay? They form the core of what is known as the IT, the Eliminating Truth. Uh, you couldn't make this stuff up, stuff, up, stuff up if you had to. There it is. Uh, look, I've got respect for Proctor. i got respect for NAV. I think all three men know that. If they say they don't, I don't know what to tell you. I've been on, on record publicly before stating that I believe all three men are very talented individuals. I don't care for the mouthpiece they have. But you know what? They signed. They, they've... they've you know, tie the horse to him or or he's tied to their horse, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. <clears throat> so go with God on that one. It is what it is. Uh, Righteous is a contracted manager in High Velocity Wrestling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's their unit. As I said, go with God. 
Proctor may have his hands full. This goes back to February 29th, first strike, our last live event, and only our second one of 2020, okay? Matthews uh, got duped. There's no other better way to say it. Duped into being Proctor's partner against 1776, two men that Matthews knows quite well that he didn't want to be in a match against, okay? Things went south during the course of the match. Uh, Proctor turned on Matthews. Matthews turned on Proctor. It got a little heated, and as a result of that, Proctor took the pin and lost the match for the team. Okay, so fast forward now to June 5, coming up Proving Ground. We've got a massive grudge match coming your way, kids. The first promo about this match came from Mr. John Matthews. Now, um, we want to play this for you, and then we're going to let you know what's going to, what happened after this. So, folks, this is John Matthews talking about his upcoming match against Elijah Proctor on June 5, Proving Ground. Check this out. HVW, High Velocity Wrestler. As most of you know, at last show, Iron Rights has bought out my contract. Made me team up with Elijah Proctor at Wrestle 1776. I did as I was told. I wrestled him, but during the match, Mr. Iron Righteous and Elijah Proctor decided to cheat. And the only thing I knew to do was to take him out so I could win the match fairly. Well, you all know what happened. I took the loss. So what? They won fair and square. But I just found out that it's going to be me, John Matthews, one-on-one with Elijah Proctor with the Iron Righteous in his corner. Now, boys, I'm going to do what every HVW fan wants me to do, and that's the rid of both of you from HVW. So Saturday, June 5th, in Flexor, North Carolina, be there to see what happens. Okay, so uh, for those of you who know John, John is an HVW guy through and through. Uh, he's one of what we consider to be our homegrown talents. He's a rising star in high-velocity wrestling. Having said that, John is very young, okay? If you see, you saw the match card at the end of that, that picture was from last year. You see how the young man's changed over the course of the last year. He's still growing into himself, into his own body, okay? Like I said, he's a young guy. He's also very young in the sport, okay? This means that John is not going to have the level of maturity that a 10-year veteran would have. The guy like Proctor would probably have. He's got probably got an edge on John. John looks like he's ready to come out of his skin in that promo. Okay, This was not, I'm going to deliver an amazing promo. That's not what this was. If, if this thing seemed like it was, first of all, this thing shouldn't have seemed like it was rehearsed because it wasn't. You can just tell. You see what I'm saying? Not to peel back the curtain here, folks, but you guys know how all this stuff works, right? Come on. Um, some guys want to, they'll, they'll go over their stuff because they, they want to make a point to the fans and to the guy they're talking to. You know what I mean? Cause it's important to make a statement. We just talked about the world of words between Mook and Jacobs for God's sake. All right. That's not what John did here. John's upset. He dude, all that tension, all that stress has been building over the past year. He didn't let it go. You can see he didn't let it go. He wants Proctor in the worst way. Now here's what happened. So. Proctor's manager, Ivan M. Righteous, as we said before, likes to talk a whole bunch, okay? And he's been doing a lot of talking on social media over the past few months about Elijah Proctor and what Proctor's going to do to John at June, at, on June 5 at Proving Ground. Um, Righteous is doing a lot of the talking. The problem now is that Righteous is doing a lot of the talking. Matthews wants to hear from Proctor. So we received another promo. This is after the one we just showed you. We just recently received this from the past 48 hours. John is beside himself because he can't get Elijah to respond. We've got something to show you after that. But here we go again, kids. Here is, once again, John Matthews. And this time, this is in response to the silence from Elijah. Okay? Elijah's been speaking through his mouthpiece. I am righteous, and John's not too happy about that. So, folks, here once again, John Matthews, again, talking about Elijah Proctor. Here we go. 
Elijah Proctor, are you really that much of a coward that you had to get your manager, I Am Righteous, to cut a promo on me to tell me what you're going to do to me on June 5th? Are you really that much of a coward, Proc? Just like you was a coward back at first strike when it was you and I versus 1776. You was a coward and tried to cheat to win, Proc. But I had to take you out. That's why we are here where we are right now because you're a coward and try to cheat to win. So, Saturday, June 5th, in Flexion, North Carolina, it's you and I, Prop. We have some unfinished business. So, between now and then, I hope you find your manhood because, like I said, we have some unfinished business to handle. <laughs> See you there, Prop. Uh, that blast part made me smile. John is, uh, he's, you remember I talked about level of maturity. It's not there yet. I mean, I think you can see that. However, um, this, this kid's got some fire. If you didn't catch what the last part of that promo, he said, I hope you find your manhood. That's, uh, that's pretty well laying all cards on the table. Yes. Um, there's something to be said about the young fiery upstart. Uh, can he be outsmarted in the ring? Maybe, yeah. I mean, it's and it's nothing against John, kids. Don't misunderstand me. John's a talented young man. But, you know, looking back five years from now, will John see the mistakes he's made? Of course he will, just like Elijah did, just like a lot of these the veterans have, okay? So, you know, but but here's what I'll tell you. Um, there's something to be said for the young and fiery rising star because those guys can win a match just as easily as a 20-year veteran can, okay? On any given night, anyone can beat anyone. That's the truth. So, you know, I would look for Matthews to really come into this match, uh, the proverbial house of fire, all right? This thing could go either way. This is going to be a serious big-time grudge match. Trust me when I tell you that. John is out for, re for revenge and for vengeance over what happened last year. And Proctor, well, we didn't really know what Proctor wanted because he was only speaking through his manager, I Am Righteous. That's changed, kids, because Elijah Proctor has answered. It's funny that we got this promo from John and it's almost like Elijah had saw it or heard about it before we even, we we haven't even posted it live yet. This is the first time you're getting to see it right now. It's not even going to hit Facebook till tomorrow and YouTube. Okay. But you're getting to see it tonight. Okay. Uh, sneak peek. So uh, be on the, be on the lookout for that, by the way, be sure you're checking out all of our social media. We do appreciate it. Again, Elijah must have gotten wind that, that John had recorded something else because he's got something to say. This promo looks to be as, as, as if it's at another event. Uh, we, we're not sure where and when this happened. But Elijah had plenty to say. We didn't know what he had to say uh, because he's been quiet this whole time, right? He had plenty to say now. He's pretty talky, okay? Kids, this is the widow's son, Elijah Proctor, Speaking on the Eye of the Tiger, John Matthews, on their road to Proving Ground, Saturday, June 5, in what can only be described as a massive grudge match. Here is Elijah Proctor. Elijah Proctor, do you have any words on John Matthews? Do I have any words on John Matthews? I've actually got a few. John you want to make a video all, all jazzing your pants up like you want to fight somebody. Let me reassure you one thing, John Matthews. You do not want to fight Elijah Proctor. Last time we were in a ring together, John, you got in my way. And you cost me what was important to you. A win in my debut in High Velocity Wrestling. No, 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 no. You decided to get in my way. So June 5th, I'm getting all up in your way. I'm getting all up in your face. I'm kicking your face in, punching it in. John, I'll slam you through the concrete on the outside of the ring if it means ending your career. Because you got in my way. 
And I will not stand for that. June 5th, it's off with your head. All right, so uh, those are the words of Elijah Proctor. Now, let me tell you what I saw. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I am, apart from this HVW uh, 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 duties here, I'm a pro wrestling analyst. Some people call themselves a student of the game and all that stuff. In my opinion, you can only call a pro wrestler between the ropes a student of the game. That, to me, is a student of the game, okay? I'm a guy in a chair, okay? But as the guy in the chair... I do refer to myself as a pro wrestling analyst. So let me analyze what I just saw and tell me and tell you what I think. Elijah Proctor is not shaken. He's not stirred. He's not riled in the slightest. He's not fiery. He's not a young upstart. He's not um, hungry for, for um, proving everyone wrong. He doesn't have a chip on his shoulder. I don't see any of that at all. At all. When I look at that promo, I see a man who is confident, completely in control, and got everything exactly where he wants it. Every single word that you just heard that man say uh, was premeditated, was calculated, was spoken with very deliberate, a very deliberateness behind it. All right. He fired up a little bit during that. But then he pulled, do you see what happened? He pulled him, he's doing this and he pulled himself right back. That's a pro. That's the mark of a pro with, with an icy demeanor. Elijah Proctor is coming at you from a whole different perspective. He's a very unique cat. All right. And he doesn't get rattled. There's no way. And here's where I think if Elijah has an advantage over John at all, is that Elijah is going to, during the course of the match, he'll be the most patient one. And if if John feeds into Elijah's style of match, he's going to lose. Because when Proctor's on his game, and he's in control, and he's calling the shots, he's making the other guy play his game. Okay? And when that happens, it's off with the head. That's the truth. That's the flat-out truth. I give Proctor all the credit in the world for being the tactician that he is because he's a master tactician. What you just saw in that in the course of that entire promo was not a, oh, it's, I'm going to yell and scream and sell this match and buy a ticket and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't have to do that. That's not him. You want to go pay to see this guy because you know everything he says, you're, it's probably going to happen, and you just want to see how he does it. That, to me, is a mark of a pro. That, to me, is a mark of someone who's in complete control of his actions, of his thoughts, of his behavior. You cannot shake Elijah Proctor. John wants revenge. I get it. If I were in his shoes, I probably would want it as well. Um, neither man got the win last year. Wins matter, folks. Don't let anyone lie to you and tell you it doesn't matter. Wins matter in the sport of professional wrestling. The more you win, the more chances you get, the more opportunities you have waiting on you, okay? And in this case, whoever wins this match is in. You win, you're in. The 10-man, over-the-top battle royal for the next, for next HVW champion. Now, folks, we've got John Matthews, Eye the Tiger. We've got Elijah Proctor, the Widow's Son. Is one of these two men the next HVW champion? It's entirely possible that we just saw one of the men who are going to hold the gold, the HVW championship. Gazi says, an angry mind is a narrow mind. That could be where Proctor has the advantage because John definitely gets riled up. I agree. I, yeah, I think you you put into words everything I was just trying to say. Um, Let's see. Shane says, I don't often disagree with Tom, but to me, Proctor looked nervous and maybe had a little fear in his eyes. Shane is not a big fan of Ivan M. Righteous, kids, in case you can't tell. Uh, hey man, I, you know, uh, if that's what you see, brother, that it's all good to me. Um, yeah, I, 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 I we agree, disagree, right? 
I feel like Elijah's in control of this. Now, here's the X factor, kids. I am righteous as the X factor, despite what anyone says, despite what I say, despite how much I don't care for the guy on a personal level. Okay. Uh, the fact is that professionally speaking, talk about someone who's always on the game. He seems to be. Um, there's a reason why his guys are considered some of the best in the business in the state of North Carolina and beyond. Very good reason for that. All right. So the point of the of the matter is this. We've got two men who want to win. Are they even thinking about the HUW championship? I don't know. They didn't even talk about it, did they? Neither did Mook and Jake. It's not that it doesn't matter. Obviously, it does. But the fact that they're not talking about it should tell you something. That should tell you that all four men are focused on the task ahead and the task at hand. The task at hand is winning the match. Because if you don't win the match, you're not in. You talk all day long about the championship. That's great. That's good. And yay. Right? But you got to win your match first. Okay? And again, and, and to John's credit, that's a sign of maturity on his part that he's only looking right now because in this business, you got to go one step at a time. You can have goals. It's not that you can't have goals and dreams and aspirations of winning the top belt. No, you absolutely should. We put the thing over when we went live tonight, right? It's not that you can't. You absolutely should. But you have to take this stuff one step at a time. If you get too far of yourself, the other guy's going to catch you looking, and bam, it's over. One, two, three, you're done. You're going home. You're not wrestling anybody else that night. So that's a big deal, right? Before we get out of here tonight, and by the way, final words on this, I'm very much looking forward to this. This is a kind of grudge match that could be all over the building. I wouldn't be surprised to see these guys fighting in between the crowd and taking it backstage maybe. Who knows what could happen? This is going to be, I say fun, but I don't mean fun like funny haha. This is going to be fun to watch in terms of excitement, okay? We want to update you guys on the rest of this card here. We've, we've often uh, talked about the championship matches. Uh, and they're all three very important, obviously. Before we get out of here tonight, we want to show you once again the HVW match card, the entire HVW match card from start to finish. This, the card as it's presented here in this slideshow, should be how the matches actually take place, barring anything wackadoodle happening, okay? So it's almost like you're watching the show, except really quickly and there's no wrestling. <laughs> Just the cards, all right? Folks, here is the HVW Proving Ground match card. Enjoy. There you go, folks. How's about that? It's fun stuff, right? <laughs> Gauzy just pointed out all the bills are silver. Why do you keep saying it? They don't call me on stuff like that. Good Lord. Uh, you know, it's it's a euphemism. It's it's a, it's a cliched phrase. We all use it, right? Don't tell me you don't use it. You're lying. Uh, I get you. That's cool. Uh, yes, go for the gold. Go for the silver. It, it just sounds like you're going for second place, man. Go for the top, right? If you're not pumped up to see AH with a proving ground, I don't know what more to say to you. Five great matches, three of which are championship matches. Okay. What more can you ask for? And for the first time ever in the history of high velocity wrestling, the first ever H for Women's Championship will be decided. Now, if that's not enough for you, yikes. You're watching the wrong, you're watching the wrong sport, baby. Proving ground's where it's at. You got to be there. How can you get there? Holy God, I'm glad you asked. Bam, ticket information. Here it is. Are you ready for this? 
We're going to bring it up so as you can see how incredibly easy it is. All I did just now was type in the words, the uh, the letters, tinyurl.com slash HVWPGTIX. That stands for High Velocity Wrestling, obviously, Proving Ground Tickets. So as I can show you this, if you're just listening to the show and didn't watch it, man, you're lost, aren't you? Eventbrite.com. Here is the page, kids. As of right now, tonight, May 10th, 2021, restrictions are still in place. Now, as you guys and gals know, state of North Carolina has been improving. Even though a lot of doofuses are still walking around without their masks on, I'd make no apologies. It's how I feel. I work with the public, baby, in the others in the civilian job. So trust me, I've been put in harm's way for a long time. Okay. Uh, as I know, probably a lot of you have as well. But the good news is, as a state, we're trending upward in terms of getting better, and that's a great thing. Restrictions are being lifted. As of tonight, however, restrictions are still in place. What's this mean for you? This means for you and for us, yes, we're going to be masked up. That's how it is, okay? If it's lifted before June 5th in any capacity, we will update you as soon as possible, Okay. But as of right now, this moment, you will wear a mask to get in the door. You don't have a mask, you're not getting in. Even if you've already paid for your ticket, no refunds, baby. You're being told up front, you will wear a mask to come in. Now, if you're eating that night, and we're not serving concessions, kids. Get to that in a second. If you're eating that night, what this means is, of course, you take the mask off when you eat and drink. But when you're done, the mask goes back on. You're not going to be able to sit in our crowd without a mask on. It's not happening. Don't expect our wrestlers to come slapping high fives and all that stuff. That's probably not going to happen either. Now, let's talk about seating. We've got two different kinds of seating, okay? We've got folding tables with five chairs at each table, all right? One table with five chairs is 100 bucks. If you choose to go that route, you get a free large pizza and a free two-liter soda on the table when you get there. We have plates and napkins and cups, all right? On the house, baby. Can't ask for better than that. If you don't want to go that route, if it's just one or two of you, maybe three, any of you that's under the number five, okay, obviously, because why not buy a table if you got five of you, right? If it's five, like under five people, okay, then you want to get a folding chair. They're 20 bucks a pop. If there's two of you, we'll put two chairs together. If there's three, we'll put three. If there's just one, you'll be by yourself, okay? The chairs and the tables will be socially distanced from each other and from the ring. There you go. Kids, nine times out of 10, we say a certain age and under is free. We can't do that this time. You got to understand, we can't sell at full capacity, at least as of right now. As a result of that, we have to do what's best for business, okay? What's best for business means that we have to include kids as regular uh, ticket uh, buying customers at this particular event. Now, again, if everyone starts and keeps doing what they should be doing, fingers crossed, we can come out of this mess, hopefully by, you know, summer, early, late fall, whatever. We can be back to full capacity, no restrictions. The the kids, certain age and under, will get in free. But as of this event that we're talking about, Proving Ground, we've got a lot of restrictions in place, kids. All right? So we have to be careful for your sake, for our sake, for our wrestlers, our roster, our crew behind the scenes, and all of our families, guys, okay? We have to be extremely careful and be sure that we're all on the same page. Now, what's this mean moving forward? What happens if things change? Something you need to know right up front. We're only selling tickets online. That's it. The days of, I don't have a phone. Come on. The days of, I don't have internet. Come on. Come on. You're killing me with that. All right. Everyone's got access to internet in some form or fashion. If you don't, if you don't have internet for some, whatever reason, call your buddy. Call your girl, call your guy, call whoever. Hey, give me a ticket to HVW Proving Ground, okay? They'll hook you up, I promise you. If they're any kind of friend, because it's going to be a good show. Trust me when I tell you that, man. So, make it happen. We want to see you there. These guys and gals are going to get in that ring on June 5, and I guarantee you they're going to deliver the match of their lives. Everyone on the card is going to step up. Why? Number one, there's titles on the line, duh. But number two, 
It's our first event back in front of live fans, man. We can't wait for this. I'm amped. All right. We're all excited to come back. We can't wait to get rolling back for you. But the only way to make this happen, the only way to make this happen is outside drink aloud. Uh, now, now, Gazi, for the talent, we'll have to talk about that. That'll be a separate conversation, not held online, right? But as of right now, fans coming into the front door. Uh, uh, and remember, kids, we don't own this building. We refer to it as the HVW Arena. Arena, there it is. But it's the Trinity of Fairview Family Center, 646 Concord Road, Fletcher, North Carolina. Okay? And the church owns that building. If they say no outside food and drinks, it's no outside food and drinks. Okay? And that's, I mean, that's just how it is, all right? We can give you more details as we get closer to June 5, so everyone's on the same page. But as of right now, that's how we're rolling. We're not going to have concessions. We're opening ourselves up to exposure, just like you would be. We need to be careful. I promise you it's still important. A, A good friend of mine, his wife is a COVID nurse. Brother, I've been told stuff that will just, it'll, it'll, uh, it's spine chilling. Okay. So again, and I, and, and it's all ages folks, trust me. It's, it's, uh, scary. All right. Are we in better shape than we were three months ago? Yes, sir. You better believe it. Some of us have been vaccinated. If you have good for you. All right. Good for me. Right. That's great. A lot of people have it and they refuse to. So we have to keep that kind of stuff in mind, folks. We have to be smart again, not just for ourselves, not just for our talent and our crew, but for you, your families and our families as well. We're all in this together, folks. Sooner we realize that, better off we'll be. I don't know what more to say to you about this tonight. I think we're going to split and get out of here. Uh, again, it's time to get your tickets. Tinyurl.com slash HVWPGTIX or go to eventbrite.com and search High Velocity Wrestling on the search box or click the links on the Facebook or click them on the Instagram, or click them on the Twitter. For God's sake, start clicking. You want to be there to see the show, man. It's going to be fun. I promise you, you're going to have a good time. This will be the third event that we've held, and I say it every time. I say it the first two times. I say it this time as well. I promise you, you're going to have a good time. It's going to be a blast. I had a great fun on the first two events. You're going to have fun here as well. I promise you, you're going to love every second of it, okay? We always deliver. We always guarantee you a great show. We deliver every time. Our talent makes sure of it. The fun part for guys like me, there's a lot of work behind the scenes. That's true. There'll be a lot of work that night. That's true. But when the show's actually happening, I get to sit back and watch too because I'm always going to be a fan. I make no apologies for that. I don't ever want to lose that. It's important to me. Okay. If you grew up a pro wrestling fan, you know how important this stuff is. It's it's nerdy. It's geeky. It's it's guy stuff, whatever. Okay, cool. But it's important. I just love this business so much. I was watching a match before I even went live tonight, man. I just love this stuff. All right, folks. Thanks again to everybody that watched live. Thanks for watching after the fact. Remember, tell your friends. If you got pro wrestling friends and you know who they are, we tend to stick out, don't we? <laughs> if you got pro wrestling friends, Jack, be sure they know HW Proving Ground is coming, baby. You can't miss it. Don't miss it. You'll kick yourself the next morning. I'll make sure you do because I'll tell you every day what a great show you missed. And, and ooh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I'll put you on a guilt trip. I'm good at that. My wife will tell you. There you go. All right. I'm getting out of here, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Please stay tuned. As we always say, stay up to date on all of our social media. We do appreciate it. Have yourselves a great week. We look forward to seeing you again next week. We'll keep you updated. Check out our Facebook page as we go. If we have to make any announcements regarding the event, you'll see this guy here back in all the hairy goodness that is Tom Clark back on your screen once again, okay, to update you. Until such time, have yourself a great week. Thanks again for hanging out. Remember to check back as often as possible. As possible. There it is tinyurl.com, I'll get it right, slash H-V-W-T-I-X, slash H-V-W-P-G-T-I-X. It's that easy. So easy a child could say it. Just go to eventbrite.com. Would that help you? Eventbrite.com. Search H-V-W, High Velocity Wrestling, in the search box. And if you want it easier than that, there's links all over Facebook. I put them up every day.
So go look at them. It's it's like pin to the top of the page, baby. You can't miss it. If you miss it, I don't. I maybe you shouldn't be driving a car if you miss it. That's tough. All right, bad jokes aside, I'm getting out of here. Thanks again, folks. Everybody have a great night. We'll see you next time. All right. Thanks again for watching the official HW podcast. Stay tuned, folks. See you later.